gastrocnemius muscle anatomy. The gastrocnemius muscle is a part of the superficial flexors of the leg. There are three superficial flexor muscles in the leg, the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris. The gastrocnemius muscle arises from the femur and it crosses the knee joint and the ankle joint. The gastrocnemius muscle has two heads, medial and lateral head. Origin, there are two heads. The lateral head arises from the lateral surface of the lateral femoral condyle. The medial head of the gastrocnemius comes from the posterior surface of the femur above the medial femoral condyle. The medial head is larger and extends lower than the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. The two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle unite together near the middle of the leg. The two heads are separated by a furrow in which the Schuren nerve and the small saphenous vein are present. The two bellies of the gastrocnemius end in a tendon which joins the tendon of the soleus to form together the tendo Achilles or the tendo calcaneus, which inserts into the middle third of the posterior surface of the calcaneus. Innervation The gastrocnemius muscle is innervated by the tibial nerve, S1, S2, and each head of the muscle has its own branch. The tibial nerve passes behind the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles through the fibrous arch of the soleus. Blood supply. Each head of the gastrocnemius muscle is supplied by the sural branch of the popliteal artery. Function. Together with the soleus, the gastrocnemius muscle is a powerful plantar flexor of the ankle. Because the gastrocnemius muscle crosses the knee joint, it also flexes the knee. The gastrocnemius muscle is involved in running and jumping. It is a fast movement muscle. It contains white type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers in contrast to the soleus, which contains type 1 slow-twitch muscle fibers. What is the clinical significance of the gastrocnemius muscle? The flexor muscle group has two compartments, the superficial and the deep. The gastrocnemius muscle is part of the superficial flexor compartment of the leg. Here is a cross section showing the four compartments of the leg. And this is the fasciotomy incisions for the two incision technique. It opens all the four compartments, including the superficial flexor group. The gastrocnemius muscle is part of the boundaries of the popliteal fossa. The popliteal fossa is bounded by the biceps femoris superiorly and laterally, as well the semitendinosus and membranosus superiorly and medially. In the lower part of the popliteal fossa, the space is formed by the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle. Bursa, Baker cyst. Baker cyst lies between the semimembranosus and the medial head of the gastrocnemius, as you can see here in the cross section. The Baker cyst is commonly caused by knee arthritis or meniscal tear. The cyst is connected to the knee joint through a valvular opening.
Knee effusion from the intraarticular pathology allows the fluid to go through the valve to the cyst in one direction. Another clinical situation is the approach to the posteromedial fragment of the tibial plateau. You approach this posteromedial fracture fragment of the tibial plateau through an incision between the medial gastrocnemius and the semimembranosus. And this fragment has its own fixation, an anti-glide plate, to buttress this fragment. Gastrocnemius tightness. Improved ankle dose flexion with knee flexion means gastrocnemius tightness or contracture. And when you have the same ankle dose flexion with the knee inflection or in extension, that means Achilles tightness. In gastrocnemius tightness or contracture, the treatment is gastrocnemius recession, which can be helpful in diabetic foot ulcers. Medial gastrocnemius rotation flap can be used for proximal tibial open fractures and large soft tissue defects around the knee. In supracondylar fractures of the femur, the gastrocnemius muscle extends the distal fragment. The apex is posteriorly. The hamstrings and the extensor muscles cause shortening of the femur. Adductor magnus causes varus of the distal fragment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.